Hey guys, it's me in the only sweater I know how to wear. If you guys didn't know, um, to make money, I serve and bartend, but I also door dash. And last night when I was door dashing, I had to pee. So I risked my life going into Target and nobody here takes the mask mandate seriously. So um, I was like one of the only people in there besides an employee wearing a mask. And while I'm in Target going to pee, of course I had to go check out the Barbie aisle and they only had one left. I got the Barbie extra with the pink furry coat. Um, I'm looking at her face and she has like pixel face, but it's not like as bad as some of the other ones I've seen. Like you have to really get into her to like see how bad the pixel face is, you know? So it's, it's not bad, but her hair's all messed up. The packaging is broken. It's, it, it it's not good, but yeah, she was the only one. And I like, I have number one, this one's number three. Yeah, so this one's number three. The curvy Asian one is number two. And then the deeper skin girl with the Afro poofs is number one. And I bought number one on Amazon and it keeps getting pushed back until January. So I was like, great. Um, and Barbie, for some reason, has made these like, not hard to find, but like, Mattel just can't like tell us when like the street date is. So I'm getting really annoyed with it. And I'm like, are we getting these or not? Where do we find them? Stuff like that. Because people are getting them, especially like Canadian collectors because they have Toys R Us and it looks like Toys R Us got them out pretty quick. I finally have her. We're gonna unbox her, see what's inside. I'm looking at it and it's not great already. I can tell. And if this is supposed to be like a competitor for the LOL OMGs, I don't know how. Like, an OMG is literally heavier than all this packaging and a Barbie put together. And I just don't see how this is going to work. But we'll, we'll unbox her and we'll see what's inside. And I'll see if it was worth the whole $27, I think, with tax I paid for her. So we'll give you guys a closer look at the packaging. Um, I actually pre-filmed something. So you can look at the packaging in that way. She is number three. The Barbie extra line. There's a teddy bear with some weird star sprinkles in it. She comes with sunglasses, twisty buns, um, crimped hair, a pink jacket. The front says Barbie extra in bold. She comes with some dumbass pig. There's some cute artwork on the bottom. My packaging is actually really like broken and messed up. And then you can see on the side, there is a gummy bear. It says Barbie Extra. And then there's some artwork of her dumbass pet. On the back, it has perforation around the box, which I think is supposed to make it easier to pull her out. And then there's just a bunch of pictures of her accessories and everything. And some artwork of the other girls, 15 styling pieces. And on the other side of the box, it just says Barbie Extra. And there's a more close-up look of the artwork. So yeah, guys, that is the Barbie packaging. It says 2020 Mattel. They're like really bringing home on the back of this box, like the accessory she comes with, like that's really like their hard driver. They're like, hey, we actually included like accessories and clothing and separate pieces and stuff like that. And I'm like, you should just do that anyway. So let's get her unboxed and get a closer look at everything else. Okay guys, we got her out of the box. It wasn't like super difficult to get her out or anything. Um, the perforation on the back of the box though, that's supposed to make it like easier to pull her out and everything, um, didn't. She's not heavy or anything. Like she's definitely just a fashionista, which that's what these are. They are marketed as like fashionistas that are extra and elevated and stuff. So she's not like heavy. She definitely has a more hollowed out body and everything, but feeling her, she has like a decent weight. Like this is what I feel like a Playline doll should feel like. She looks really pretty in real life and out of the box and everything. And now that I can get a better look at her pixelated face, I mean, it's definitely pixelated, but a lot of the pictures you guys see are like that hyper focused in pixelation. Like if I'm holding her at like this length from me, I 
really can't even see it except kind of on her eyebrows because that's where like the most continuous surface color is. So yes, she does have it. Mine doesn't look as bad as like I've seen people look, but we'll get you like a closer look in and everything. And you guys can judge for yourself her pixel face. From top to bottom, it looks like Barbie has two kind of like Princess Leia-y like top bun, space bun things. She has two strands of crimped hair that is ombre sticking out of the front that does go past her knees. The back of her hair is crimped and layered in different, yeah, it's definitely got different layers, crimp, and then there's a lot of pink and blonde in there. Two metallic looking plastic hoop earrings, which is good. I like plastic jewelry on dolls, so you don't get green ear later. She does have very soft makeup. Um, it's hard to tell with the pixelation, like what her eyeshadow color is supposed to be, but I think it's like a very light pink, like in her hair. She has soft eyebrows, blue eyes, and then a nude lip that is pixelated to hell. Yeah, you can really see the pixelation on the lip, actually, if you're like in close. She has three necklaces, a metal looking choker, a star necklace, and then a necklace that says Barbie that's actually really cute. And I want one for myself in real life, but have it say Jeffrey, but in the same like typography. A metallic bodysuit going down, cotton pants that I'm, are they cotton? I don't know. They feel a little plasticky with stars going down them, fringe, white high heeled boots with wings on them. And on her hand, she does have a blue gummy bear, big fat ring that actually goes across four fingers. I also forgot to mention that she does have two white clips in her hair behind her buns. The Barbie outfit looks like it is multiple like separate pieces. The clothing came off really easily. Her big poofy jacket is lined with like a satin, not all the way through, like they didn't line the sleeves, but it is lined like, and that's, you know, that's something extra, I guess. <laughs> What the hell is that on my face? Oh, it's just the lighting. That's weird. Okay. It's already got some problems where like, oh, my ring light's too bright, but like right here where like some of the metallic is scratching off already. Her jacket is shedding like a mother, but it's like polyester, whatever. I expect some shedding from that. Everything that is held together is held together with Velcro. So the back of the bodysuit and the back of the pants. The pants up close are, it's supposed to look like denim and it absolutely does. There's fringe on the side of the pants that are really cool. And she is a pointed heel Barbie. She's cute. Um, it's just weird to think about because she's around like $25, $27 with um, tax. Yeah. And so the idea of like, you can get this for $25 or for $27, you can get an LOL OMG. They do not compare. Like this is okay for Barbie. I collect silk stones. I know Barbie can do better. Um, that's not really fair comparing the Barbie silk stone price to like a fashionista doll. But I also know what the old fashionistas used to be. And this has like very similar vibes. She is fully articulated for a fashionista, so not made to move, but she can move at the head up and down, side to side. She is articulated at the shoulders, elbows, and wrist, <laughs> and her arms are all hairy from her jacket. She can move her legs out about that far. That's it. She can move them forwards, backwards, and she has articulation at the knee and no articulation at the ankles, like the old fashionistas. She did come with other accessories, like a her handbag is kind of like supposed to be a candy bar, and it says sweet on it in kind of like cloudy leather letters. Then on the back, it's actually like not one of those hollowed out bags. There's actually stuff like in between the bag, and it's got some, you know, kind of 
cushiony feel to it. And there is a little zipper detail back here, which um, that's impressive, you know, like for Barbie. She does come with this dumbass pig pet. Um, absolutely hate that these come with pets. I wish they would have used the money that they used on these pets to just make these like slightly better and not spend so much on the packaging. I think the packaging is kind of like pointless. I know it's colorful and everything, but like, honestly, she could come in like a Ziploc bag with like a Sharpie that says Barbie Extra. And I would buy that instead of like the over packaging and everything. I'm not like big on packaging though, cause I'm an unboxing channel. Like packaging is just getting in the way of me and my doll. It comes with this dumbass pig and it comes with a little stand you can put it on that's like clouds. It does come with accessories. You can put little wings on it. So it can, I don't know, fucking fly or something. And then it does come with like a little tiara so it can be like a unicorn pig and then it's flowers and it just goes like behind its ears to be put into place and i'm sure there's like some joke here about like we'll get better quality with barbie when pigs can fly and like i don't know something stupid and cheesy like that <gasps> i dropped one of the accessories and lost it on the pig already that's fantastic that's literally everything about this barbie extra um, it's really sad that these are considered, like, extra because, to me, they just kind of feel like the old fashionistas. They come with, like, a couple of accessories, some clothing pieces, and jewelry. She is pretty. Like, despite the pixel face, like, inherently she is a very pretty doll. I do like her. And just based on trends and everything and um, inflation, I don't think 25 is like the worst for them, but it, it's not super great either because I know what else I can get around the $25 price point. One thing I will give the Barbie Extra line that um, MGA can't do outside of LOL OMGs is um, they have a good shade range. They have a deeper girl and then everything like in between like the lightest one to like the deeper one. And I think the lightest one is like the curvy Asian girl. But Barbie and Mattel are way better about like inclusivity than MGA will ever be. Cause they only seem to put it in the LOL OMG line or the LOL surprise line, but with like rainbow high, na 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 surprise, any other kind of dolls, MGA doesn't do it. For $25, I'm not mad at this. Um, I, I took off like the main piece. This is like the piece that people are probably like losing their shit over is a pink fluffy coat. Like this is probably their favorite part of it. And it's great. Um, and the armholes are wider because you can hide it behind the fringe. So it's easier to get her hands in and out. So I think like redressability and everything, that's fantastic. But yeah, I'm not mad at it. Um, I know the pixel face bothers people. Pixel Face bothers me on collector expensive dolls because you can absolutely afford to put like a better thing. But what's really sad is um, this literally for $25 comes with more, better articulation, fills higher quality, still has Pixel Face and everything, whatever. But this this is literally like what my $50 collector HBC Canada Stripe stall feels like for half the price. So I know like on the collector side of things, like Barbie's really screwing us because this literally is better than my $50 HBC Stripes collector doll. And I think that's a little fucked up. Ultimately guys, I like her. I think the packaging is over the top. Um, I would rather them spend less money on the packaging and the stupid dumbass pet who is um, like solid all the way through. So they're pretty heavy and everything, but I just think pet, the Barbie pets are stupid. I think they're just wasting a ton of money there where they could be like wasting it on like better stuff, like better quality and everything. I guess that's it guys. Um, I think she's really cute. I don't know why I took the jacket off and kept it off. I almost like this better. That's really weird. Um, 
Let me know what you think about her down below. Let me know if you have some of these stuff like that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.